Hello guys, so now we're going to do some uh, forecasting. It's when, it's Sunday, so I want to prepare for Monday, tomorrow. Actually, it's already Monday. It's actually 2 a.m. in the morning here in New York. So basically, it's 7 a.m. morning in London. And yeah, I just finished the video series, series of uh, weekly review if you haven't checked it. Check that out in my YouTube, and yeah, I've started this video last week, and it's been it's been um uh, very helpful for me in my trading journey, and being an asset, becoming an asset, being a trader. Without further ado, I want to do some a quick forecast before before um before calling calling this Sunday a night. Anyway, so we got this huge gap in all pairs right now. Um, you know, as we all know, there's something happening uh, in our in 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 the world, right? But regardless, we're going to read the price. What the price tells us about its moves you know this is a language of the market and we focus on this so let's get it on so first euro usd friday we close here on this range we got this break but we got this weak weak break but as you can see uh, overview we are in a long downtrend and then from there downtrend we get this V we got this V reversal we tried to range before continuation it didn't happen what happened was it went down it created a bigger range and then um, continue its move the thing is for me, the move going to the upside, if it's a reversal, it should be impulsive. But what, what we got is a candles with a huge weak rejection on, on its high. Right? So it's showing some weakness for me. Then this run, um, this rebound is is uh, it's a bit corrective for me to trust that it's going to reverse, right? And this happened Sunday. Um, we we'll get this. If we get this, this is okay. So we got this. We have this range now. So I just want to see and I just want to know that we have gap here. Alright, so I guess we're just going to range from here. Right? Unless we get some break retest continuation. And because we come from a very long downtrend, a long downtrend, I want to see some impulse, big impulse to the upside. Of course, you can get a big impulse and wait for continuation bunker bomb. I would happy to get involved. And of course, if you start getting this uh, corrective break of its major high, I would still wait for break and retest before uh, continuing to the downside and of course this break and retest um, it's, it's not like euro jpy i want to see some big huge impulse or i'll wait for I, i'll i'll be i'll try to be conservative on this um bullet setup and if not because of the if if the market 
will be driven of what's happening uh, to the world we could get an impulse going to the downside and then i would be happy to wait and get tagged in on a bullet and then continue its move if not we could get a bunker bomb continue its move again usd um it's more of bomb but let's see it depends on the price action all right and then i will review my weekly review and if you want to review also just watch my video so now yeah that's it and then of course I, we don't want to discount that it could we could get this uh, corrective break of major low also and then sit our on our hands and then wait for a very good impulsive and then get involved on break and retest or flag continuation for continuing to the upside so that's for euro usd so that's five minutes and again for euro jpy most likely this will be the same they came from a long downtrend and then come friday we got this high we got this low we got this tiny range actually but if you could see they gave us a weak break and then before that we got a weak break so actually the market is telling us that the price is struggling to go to the upside and now we're getting this huge gap huge gap we're getting this huge gap that no price could probably fill this out first so this break of major low creating this big range same thing with euro usd we could expect this to fill the gap and then reach for a, a little bit or we could see an impulse and i want to see a, a good impulse in uh and going to the upside and then happy to get involved in retest and continue or a bunker bomb or also we could get a corrective pattern which is high probability and one kind of impulse get involved continue its move i would be happy to get involved in that or not break this break retest uh let's say good impulse and then happy to get involved here or a bunker bomb to continue its move or not get this sorry you can get this uh, corrective break and then wait for the break of that pattern very good impulse get involved in the retest and then continue its move right there very simple so we're just waiting for the action on monday so monday tuesday probably um range bound press action and then maybe wednesday we could get it slow before continuing the mid of the move or the true move or a high of the week and continue its move so month tuesday and wednesday is very um critical you know so we need to be present and be 100% uh, ready prepared um on that on those days so that's for euro jpy aussie dollar again we got this uh big huge cup oh where where is this this huge cup again same with other pairs so making this our low our oh, hold on hold on let me let me let me map the last move last week there we go so we got this break Aussie dollar got this break one two three and then as you all know I read, I read this as a candle reversal it's like actually it's engulfing then we got this we got involved here happy that i 
I close my trade before Friday and as you know I'm practicing to close all my my open trades on a Friday. And then what happened after this consolidation we got this huge gap breaking the major low creating this low or major low new major low <coughs> giving us this range <coughs> and this range as as you all know we are expecting some gap field and then monday tuesday which about range about up price action or we can get easily a huge impulse break retest or a bunker bomb or a corrective i'm gonna sit at hands if that happened and then wait break and then it does go down same thing here we could get human impulse break and retest <coughs> or sit dollar break and retest or bullet not that much i need more um confirmation i'll be conservative on that but the bomb definitely i think it's a, it's a huge success for this pair and then go down and then next you know we could get this corrective pattern easily get involved on a break and retest or a bunker bomb same thing so we got this huge cup right every pair's got that so unlike curious then you you wrote jpy this came from an i from a very corrective uptrend and aussie pairs has a good tendency that it would trend correctively all right so oc japanese yen our last pair for tonight so high 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 momentum we got this break and then another high we didn't get any break but the range broke from here and so we created a low and a high there you have it so we leave some ascending channel on top for us jpy and now we also have a gap over here that could be filled on monday or tuesday right a range bound price action of course also jpy i think conservative 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 bullet conservative bullet Begin retest continue or a bomb continue or a corrective i'll wait for its reversal break continue break retest and continue and also this, i get the same price action break retest continue break the bomb flag continue and of course active to the downward to the downside i'll wait for a break and read this reversal or a bomb reversal that's it guys that's for us on jpy and we've covered all four pairs that i've been trading and hopefully we could create and we could trade more high probability trades this week and you know we could gather more data thank you so much it's been a it's been a, it's a busy sunday for me but I know I can do this, right? I'm, I'm still building. I'm still process. I'm still new to these processes and uh, routines. But yeah, that's week one for me. Week one, episode one of this video journal. Thank you. Please subscribe and uh, let me know how you or how this video um affects your trading journey. So again, thank you so much. Trade and prosper. Do what excites. Bye. Bye.